Now to a two-time Olympian who has coached high school wrestling in the Portland area for decades. Fox Hills Nick Krupke has our high school spotlight this morning with a leader of young men and women at McDaniel High. Look at that. That's the leg I'm supposed to shoot. Romelio Salas is a wrestler and a teacher. A low single. When you see those little changes, that's what motivates you to continue to do what you do. And then I just, just... Go for it. A Spanish and SEL instructor at Tiger High by day and head wrestling coach at McDaniel High after the school bell rings. Hey, pulling. I can't retire, but it's just that I enjoy what I do. So yeah. they have to scoop me up to the classroom for me to retire. <laughs> a 65 year old from Columbia arrived in Oregon in the late 70s, where he became an All American wrestler at Pacific University for Hall of Fame coach and professor Mike Clark. Many athletes, that's how they find their way out of poverty. For me, that was my passport to a better life, and that's why I'm here. And the help of Mike Clark, my second dad. <laughs> Whenever you finish up here, you gotta go to a double. Yeah. So, you want here. Romelio continues to pay it forward all these years later, volunteering to keep that mat room open during the summer. It's where time stands still. This has done a lot for me. This is where I find refuge. I forget about everything. Uh, the pain goes away. I get lost in that world. But the moment I'm not doing any of those things, the torment comes back. Salas's torment comes from an ongoing stomach ailment that causes extreme bloating and has put him through the ringer since 2000. They operated on me three times in 60 days. I never thought I was gonna make it out of the hospital. 23 years later, there is still no solution to his digestion troubles. Every time I go to bed, I'm hoping that my stomach is gonna be flat the way it was before. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Solace just got back from the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota and is awaiting test results. Bring them. See. And I'm just wishing that at some point, you know, they can give me, even if it is not a cure, but give me more alleviation so that I can live a more comfortable life. Coach knows about pain. The 1984 Olympian had his ACL buckled during the third round of freestyle in L.A. against the eventual American gold medalist Dave Schultz. This is the scar of a legend. The two later became training partners at John DuPont's Foxcatcher Farm in the lead up to the Barcelona Games of 1992. But Mr. DuPont, he was a, kind of a lunatic. I was kind of scared of that guy. And I kind of sensed that something was about to happen there. Later, we found out that he ended up shooting Dave Schultz. While Romelio was the Pan American gold medalist that season, he did not medal at the Summer Games. There were years that I used to shed tears just thinking about that. I single. Coach's tears and scars make him the leader he is today. Had it not been for this, I, I think I would have been a few feet on the ground by now because this is my coping mechanism. I have been visited by dark thoughts, but then I start analyzing. And so I don't dare. I don't go there. Stay focused. I just try to laugh at it and just continue to move forward. You know, you're not going to take me down. It's difficult, but I'm going to continue to move on. Wishing nothing but the best for Coach this season and in life. In the home of the Mountain Lions, Nick Krupke, Fox Hill, Oregon.